So what would a national government do? On immigration by itself, unconnected with other reconstructions which, strictly speaking, are necessary, it's never possible to disconnect in joined up thinking everything. But we can make several direct, simple statements. We would introduce an Australian-style point system whereby limited immigration would be accepted on the basis of Ireland's interests only. We would fix a number, no more than 2,000, for permanent immigration to this country per year from anywhere in the world and reserve the right to reduce that figure if it were constant because 20,000 a year would, or 20,000 every 10 years is too much. We would give first option among those immigrants to those persons of provable Irish heritage, the diaspora. We would prioritize persons that are quicker and easier to assimilate. And yes, that means Europeans. <laughs> we would exclude immediately all persons espousing the ideology of Islam until we have a clear notion of the terrorist threat that is almost certainly already among us. We shall not become another Sweden. And <laughs> and yes, that is the Muslim ban. We would exclude all persons with an indictable criminal record and deport all foreigners who commit indictable crimes while in Ireland immediately after serving their sentence. We would end the exploitative asylum process, withdraw from all so-called international obligations and uh, to accept and process obviously fraudulent claims. And asylum, where granted, where granted, and rarely granted, will not be a ticket to permanent residence. We will shred the citizenship papers thrown around like a confetti at a bad wedding <laughs> in recent years, in particular by the Minister Alan Chatter, and to hell with anyone who says we can't. This country is ours. It is our place in the world. It's our only home. It shall remain so.